Hello and welcome to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kimori. We have a great reminder for you. Our guest for this episode is a member of parliament for Kikuyu constituency. Also, the gentleman who stands to be blamed, Juneta Kiskia quality amandazi yake, imeshuka. But when we return back to normal, normalcy after COVID, Mr. Speaker, if the quality of my tea and my mandasi goes See, down, I will only blame Honorable Lishunga and nobody, Mr. Speaker. What is your point he has to take responsibility, Mr. Nah, nah, Speaker, actually, for my tea. <laughs> The gentleman being talked about in that clip, Honorable Kimani Chungwa, is in the house. A group of youth raided the Kisumu County offices with machetes, rungus, and hammers to, defend, to, to demand for jobs. Panga na rungu to look for a job. That must be the literal definition of job hunting. Atu ni kamu aliambiwa wakienda kutafta job, lazima utoke na curriculum vitai. The E is silent. Now, I understand how thick things are, especially as far as employment is concerned. But think about that for a minute. You go looking for a job, na panga ama narungu alafu pewe. You get the job. Wambiwe, eh, sasa kazi, <laughs> sasa tu, kazi tumebakisha hapa ni customer care. Sijui kama hiyo rungu di otoko unapigia hatu nao simu. Na we dada, we madam, hiyo panga umebeba, manzia uta ingi hapo wanza kukati ya mdozi. But think about it critically. How effective can a weapon be when looking for a job? Omera, na ito Thompson, na ulisa kama na wesa pata kasi ya pata kama ni ya kufagia. Sa, we are sorry, for now we are not hiring. Okosua muandigi. Okosua. Na sasa, bado wa muandiki kasi. Okay then, uh, <coughs> you can start tomorrow. <laughs> Unasema tomorrow, mimi hata nilikuwa tayari kuwansa hata leo. <laughs> Alafu, unajua mina lipuwa kama rent. Unanilipuwa kuwansa ndi unitomie. Sasa, hapo hatu we umeenda sana. You know as a company, we have structures. Na si hata mini kona structures. Ama hini nini? Hini structures o mera. Now, so unanijenga ama ni kubomoe. Now, in other news, <laughs> police officers, uh, the Kenya police has launched a digital occurrence book this week. So moving forward, all crimes will be recorded online. Basically, the National Police Service has joined Twitter. Technically, this is different though. This is a system to help improve, uh, to help the government improve service delivery and to reduce corruption. So sayu kishikwa, especially for the first time offenders, una create your account ya makosa online. We are moving away from analog operations to digital operations. Funny thing called the file. You know, nunua chai, file ipatikane, ongea na waze, hiri file ipatikane, hawa waze sasa lazima wapote. Sayi ya kuna cha file, karawa kikushika anaku Google, anona thambiza kufu. Ni kuupdate tu. Gichana naona hapa that October 1999 ulipiga polisi. Ay, ya pana mazi. Ujamani limvatu kiuwa classmates, high school mazi. Hata hakuwa meju hata hikuwa karawo. Aya basi ni megusa mehea. Lakini inabaki kwa bio. Another update is the option of paying fines through mobile money transfer. I can't wait for the excuses on this one. Emza ngoja kitoko, ngoja kitoko, usitume kwa hiyo baby. Nitumie kwa hii namba. Najua namba ya serikali kona deni. Uonangi news. Alafu unatuma miatano kamili. Iyo ni ya kukutoa. Sasa ongesa 27 bob ya kutoa. Now I believe, moving forward, they will even introduce an e-wallet. Mali unaweza save do just in case ufanye makosa. Wekichana faini ya loitering uh, with malicious intent ni elfu moja na miambili. Iwa leti yako naona ikona 271 shillings. Why are you <laughs> committing a crime you cannot afford? Why are you living beyond your means? Now, this week, ANC party leader Musalia Mudavadi was on the spot, or should we say on the receiving end after he posted pictures of him buying sweets from kids. Wasi waka jam, ati oh, you're promoting child labor, ETC, and then I thought about it. What if Mudavadi had posted pictures of him ignoring children selling sweets? What would have been the reaction? 
you also remember when people were so mad after Coca-Cola did not pick this little girl uh, for an advert. What's the difference between those two scenarios? Is it the amount of money we imagine would have changed hands? Now, kwa history ya Modavadi, mina as a feel vibaya nikisikia lipa gain. Which maybe is the reason why people were so mad. Unajua haters always assume Modavadi ananga by gaining power. Alafu, ima na nwa politician kununua vitu is also a tricky one. Because juzi yapa, the deputy president William Ruto recently bought innovative chairs from young Kenyans in the Juwakali sector. Listen to how the negotiations went. Kama hii mwana inchi wakawaida, tunawuzia 22,000. 22,000? Yes. First, we politicize everything. But we were happy to see a politician buying something from Kenyans, uh, an ordinary Kenyan, na beya ju. In fact, it's double price. More than double the price. If you are in that case, the politician na buy, it's empowerment. Fast forward to reports, uh, to news this week, where it said, uh, it's reported that it cost Kenyans 9,000 bob to buy PPE kit, a PPE kit that goes for 4,500 shillings. That's double price. What is sold to us by politicians? Why the double standards? But that's not what we are discussing on this episode. History ya Mudavadi ni meitaja because I'd really love to know. Ni nini ufuraisha wa Kenya? What do Kenyans really want? What do Kenyans love? Who can we say ame why ufuraisha wa Kenya na haka kosa kuumia? And not even on the national platform. Kufuraisha ata an individual in Kenya na kuonga kesi. Let's extend this conversation to the second part of the show with our guest, the MP for Kikuyu constituency, Honorable Kimani Ichungwa, to break this down even further. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori Kamakawaida Show Nzito Sana. Our guest for tonight is a sitting member of parliament for Kikuyu constituency, Honorable Kimani Ichungwa Ama. <laughs> Mr. Wamandazi za Junet. Mambo Mwesh. Pwazana. <laughs> Karibu sana. Dr. Sari. <laughs> Eh hey, maze kuna date tulikuwa enjoy kwa show uh, nani anaitwaje um, Duale honorable Duale was talking uh, aki complain about uh, importing oranges from Tanzania alafu <laughs> wewe ndio ulikuwa hapo nyuma yake kabisa umai enjoy wana jina yako growing up uh, machungwa <laughs> that was your nickname uh, well uh, in politics but when in I was politics. growing up my, the, where I come from people don't know the name is pronounced as Ishongwa Ah, ah, ah. So, huko ah. wasewa lijua si machungwa. Na ile, na ile time ya ODM na mandizi, machungwa na mandizi, ulikuwa na convince aje watu we ni wandizi. <laughs> Nani alesama nilikuwa wandizi? Na guest tu. Yeah. Na guest tu. Sina na, na piga picha na wewe. Una piga picha? Yeah. Sasa, huko wandizi? Umeniwe kamali. <laughs> Ama my, my name betrays me. Apana. Ulikuwa na ndizi hiyo time. <laughs> Nilikuwa na ndizi. Eh, sunaona. Sunaona, I guess Nikuwa right. Nandizi, yeah. I guess right. Because you can some mood of the country. Nilikuwa nandizi. Eh, karibu sana. Unajua wasi ufloss. By the way, your former school is um, in itwaji, in terms of floss mood. Alliance High School. Not Alliance High School. Come on. Allianz. V. Mkwata uh, <laughs> inyo na Nairobi University fever. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, even uh, university pia nilisomea Nairobi University, mm -hmm. lakini si uh, it is the University, university of so Nairobi. So you're the, you're yeah. the na manisha nini sasa? Uh, uh, the Alliance Pride High School. To. Pride to. The University of Nairobi. Eh, the member of parliament for Kikuyu. Ah, I mean, it, it just flows. Eh, nini unakumbu kwa nayo Alliance? Uh, those who were there, my time will tell you I was the senior prefect in prefect. charge of discipline. I served in the Alliance High School government as a senior prefect. Mulikwana government? Yes, very powerful one. The most powerful For government what? I've ever served in. For what? Yeah? As in, what, what, what about school government? We had a whole cabinet. Uh, led by a school captain, a deputy school captain, and ca other uh, 14 captains. So we you had a were the of senior 16. prefect? I was, a senior, I was a house captain and senior prefect in charge of discipline. But I will tell you now that I am in the catering committee in parliament. Mandaziza Junet is in a committee. Mandaziza Junet, by the way. Yeah. Coincidentally, my best friend, Hassan Mohammed, yes. 
bit me uh, to the position of dining hall captain. I had really worked hard to become dining hall captain yes. in 1994. Uh, rather, in 1993, as, because we were to be promoted to be senior prefects in 1994 now when we moved mm -hmm. to Form 4. Mm -hmm. But my friend uh, Hassan Mohammed uh, bit me to it. Hassan Mohammed came from Kakamega. Kakamega? Why Kakamega na food is near Danga Pomoja? Like it has Angalia, I'm Somali, Kutoka yes. Kakamega. We are Junet. It's a Kakamega. We are Junet, Pian in Somali, Kutoka Migori. So the uh, guy who yeah. bade me for dining hall captain was Hassan Mohammed, ah. who came from Kakamega. Yes, so yes. Nikakua house captain, or house in Aitua Smith House, yes. and I was also the senior prefect in charge of discipline. What, what kind of prefect? You time in as well, you chapa my students, as in other students, my prefect? Eh, apana. Although there was an incident in 1994 yes. uh, that turned out very ugly. Uh, in fact, Mse Ali Chapwa, alikuwa sane ya PS Mutahi. Fikira ikuwa naito Karega Mutahi. Karega Mutahi, yes. Karega Mutahi when he was PS for education. Ali Chapwa so na group, a fellow group, student. No, a group ya prefects, so a tattoo, waka chapa sane yake. I think, if I remember well, I think it led to the demotion of one prefect. Demotion? Yeah. Were, were you ever suspended? No, no, no. no. I've Mr. always been a very disciplined person. Why do you think I was in charge of discipline for 640 boys? Because I was very disciplined. At that time, but I was also very fair. I was firm. I have always been a firm but fair person. I was uh, very firm but very and fair. And that's what influenced you, uh, in Etwaje, you joining politics, Badai. At one point in 2006, Caroline Mutoko challenged young people. And that time I was in a young 2006. person. 2006? Yes. And I was a young person. I just uh, worked for about five years as an accountant. I was yes, working yes, at yes. Madison Insurance. Yes. And I was driving to work. She was challenging young people, stop whining in bars and restaurants, mm -hmm. crying how bad the country is. Yes. Do something about it. So I took up that challenge and I said, I will do something about it. I will run against Paul Meter in 2007. Of course, No, no, no. In fact, the person who won is Lewis Nguyai. But I said in 2007 that there are certain things I promised the people of Kikuyu. When the day comes for me to serve them. Yes. I will do it. And I said, I do not have to be elected to do some of the things. Like my investment in education started way before I became a member of parliament. From 2008, okay. immediately after the 2007 elections, yes. I continue working with communities in empowering them through education. And I did that today. I'm still doing it. Pakawale. Ukikachini mtu wa ongena wewe, story to Ivi. E mtu wanaona The Alliance High School. Mtu wa kikuangalia na siwe peke yako, kwa rali. <laughs> the alliance in Ajango, what happens? How, how do you do the transition? What's the science between a political rally na a session ama a forum in Ita Jidekoram? Rally, unajua, one, haguna dekoram kwa rally. Ah, ni kelele. Two, rally ni what will excite the masses and the message that you must deliver to the masses yes. within a very short time. Lakini nikuwa na engagement kama hii hapa na yewe, we have time, we can uh, discuss, I can convince you Kwarali, I must uh, have catchphrases that will get the masses' attention yes. and also send my message in a way that the masses will understand. Thank you. So, so, most, of things, alliance, so, Kwarali, but, uh, <laughs> so most of the things, most of the things you say more Kwarali, ideally should not be believed. Uh, not everything. But if if you are an honest leader, yes you find a way that you get the attention of the, uh, the mass, masses in and the then, rally, uh -huh. but deliver a message that is believable and a message, if you mean well, that you intend to do what you, you, you are saying to them. Now, what's the science base of uh, the campaign promises? Because that's what you and the confuse. Because mm -hmm. you can find a leader who has delivered for Kenyans. I'm a fanya vitu, but they will not vote him back. But you'll find someone when Yamiva took Wongea, they can keep the seat for as long as possible. Now, what do you think Kenyans want? Because we make an hour, we Kenyans, you know. What do you think Kenyans want? One, I think, is a question of uh, expectations. Two, the science in politics is simple it's about hope. 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 And I can tell you from my experience from the first time I got elected, 
uh, there is nothing you have to sell to the people other than hope. You give people hope that I will make your lives better. Yes. Once you're elected, then you have now a responsibility. Yes. Not to give new hope, but to deliver on what you promise the people. Sasa tukiongea realistically, does it really matter what you have delivered ama sasa ni the alliance you are in? Either tanga tanga ama keeleweke? No, it matters what you have delivered. I can tell you that for a fact. Okay. Uh, but also, as I said, it must be uh, tempered or balanced with the, the people's expectations. Yes. Why I say it matters what you have done and what you have delivered yes. is because I have seen it in my own constituency. One, I was elected on a platform where I promised people real, tangible change that would change people's lives. Yes. And I worked very hard uh, to be able to deliver on those promises. In 2017, I went back to the people. I told them, I promise certain things. I want you to judge me on whether I have delivered on those things. Of course, there are those who expected handouts and everything. But I, I have always been very firm. I am not the kind of politician to give you handouts. And I na kumbuka nice. even that time nilikuwa nawaambia wakinitisha nawaambia baba yao wako nyuma. Waititu anakaa. Anakaa kuwale kwa hiyo. Oh anakaa na yako pia. Anakaa na yangu pia. Sawa. Hiyo si tulikuwa team moja. Ah ah so ali, oh ali ku sponsor indirect. Haku ni sponsor <laughs> lakini kazi ya handa out ilikuwa yao so nikawaachia hiyo mimi. Ni I focus on what I promise the people to deliver. <laughs> so we're going to make sure we come before baba yao. I don't do handouts by the way. That's good. Na hiyo ni poor son. That's hopeful. Hapa kwa hope. Where does the difference come in because ukiangalia kama Nairobi kama kuna mtu alipia watu hope ni say miguna miguna ali to promise mpaka tutatengeneza underground train. Mm -hmm. Ah tungekuwa tunatoka na basement <coughs> tukiingia tukiingia job. Unaje? Why did people why didn't people vote for him? Kama ni hope basi. It it must be believable hope. If you tell a person in Nairobi that you get them an underground tunnel <laughs> na hata fair <laughs> ya kutoka mtaa kuja town ni shida na songo pale anakuonyesha mimi nitakuonyesha ku hustle yeah. venye unaweza pata fare yako na upate food jioni so you must also look at the audience that you are talking to uh, if you promise an underground uh, tunnel yeah. in uh, north of london it makes sense <laughs> wamefika hapo yes sisi bado hatujafika hapo we will get there eventually so maybe Miguna was ahead of his time. Juzi eh party leader wa ANC Mosali ya Modavadi mm. alinunua suite kwa watu wiko barabara <laughs> watu na yeye eh, hivi. Mm. At eh, you are promoting child labor has the world changed that much? And that's why I'm asking ni nini inabamba wa Kenya akipita hao watu wii bila kubai kitu ni problem. Ukibai kitu tena ni problem. Can you help everyone? Huyo mtu mtu sasa unaona akiuza suites kwa barabara most likely many of them wanafanya kazi on behalf of their parents. Na parent pia na hustle mahali fulani. Wana, sasa wanaunganisha so, pamoja. Wanaunganisha pamoja. Yes. Na mudavadi atanunua labda ile suite ya shilingi moja, shilingi tano, anunua so tano ama ngiri. Hiyo ni family imepata food that day. Yes. So most of the people taona kiatak mtu kama huyo ni watu ni wa dosi watu wako tu kwa social media. Face value. Na by the way you are response for kutolewa kwa committee ya budgeting mm -hmm. na allocations kupele kwa kwa hiyo junior akasema umtengeneze mandazi poa sema atakublima alafu msia akasema expertise yako ni poa sana cause uko na background in economics mm. na years of experience na practice mm. eh, how does that affect leadership ya the country in general well na politics ukweli wase wana if, if i was to sulk and uh, think i was doing this for somebody yes I would sulk and offer no help or use my experience and expertise yes. in offering leadership for the country. Yes. Unfortunately, I'm not that kind of person. I appreciate and recognize that I don't work for a man. Okay. I don't work for the president. Yes. I don't work for the deputy president. I work for the people of Kenya. And by working for the people of Kenya, I'm working for my God. Therefore, I will still do my best to help those who are in positions of leadership in the committee and all other committees in parliament, I will play my role actively. And I said that on the floor of parliament. Whether you put me in any committee or none. By the way, psychologically I was prepared not to serve in any committee. Okay. 
but I, I knew I still have uh, something to offer the country. And I will continue to do that. And there's a phenomenon I've noticed, come kwa revenue allocation, the budget, the, 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 the county revenue allocation, you are a pesa. I've watched the debate. Ukiwa na msea na simama anaongea, you are convinced that, ah, basi, one man, one shilling. Ukiwa na msea isa idingini ameamuka anaongea, ata ni mu convincing. So I'm like, what, what's there for the ordinary Kenyan? Mwenye na watch kama mi, unajwa misa ingine mi uchuzu kuwa chikitu kama maembe. What, what, what's in need for the person mwenye na watch evil? Like, how do you make a decision? How to make a decision is very easy. Ask yourself what do you want for this country. Not what you want for yourself. Mm -hmm. Not what you want for the area that you come from. Okay. It is very easy for, for us as politicians to drive narratives that will excite the masses of where we come from because those are our mm -hmm. voters. Mm -hmm. And that is what political leaders will do. But people who are patriotic, people who are nationalist, people who have the country at heart, we look at what is in the best interest of the country. I actually played out everything you said kwa kiliangu. But how do I know you are telling the truth? Kwa sababu ata ni ki, as in, that's what I would wish for. You as a Kenyan? Yes. Ask yourself, am I telling you what you want to hear? Or am I telling you what would be in the best interest of the nation? Not the Mulembe nation, not the Kikuyu nation, not the Luo nation, the nation of Kenya. If we are truly honest with ourselves no. and we want one united nation. Yes. One nation where we say it does not matter where I come from. You, I don't care where you come from. You don't care where I come from. Yes. Ask yourself, irrespective of where I come from, is what he's saying making sense? Okay. If it is making sense, then that is the right position. Okay. If yeah. it is exciting you because of, on the basis of where you come from, then I am playing with your mind. <laughs> ah, yeah. For, for so, your vote. Nothing I couldn't else. have put it any better. Asante sana kwa kukam Hesh. We hope to have you on. Come on again and again. Karibu na karibu tena. It's been a pleasure. Kuhiga na doktari. Naiko ma doktari ni wachate. Kume uneza tuwe mpia. Eh manze. Ulajua. Mahasla pia utuwe. Ujaribu. Kukopi madinosti ya doktari. Mazima tujaribu pia. Ah no wanda. Yapo ndio mali inatoka. Ah manze mi niti klon kulod. Hasla sana dynasty. Asante sana kwa kukam. Thank you. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori.